Okay, welcome back to Building Banter. I'm back on the right character now. I'm back in the location where we first started. Made my uh, my way all the way back to here. Got a fire going. Uh, it's been a little while since we had a video because I've been summertime. Been taking days off, but we're back. And the last video uh, when I had I was on my Sam character, actually trying to make my way back here, and I just switched to this guy because I like this is my Building Banter guy. I need a name for this guy. Oh, did we say we were going to call him BB? Building banter? Maybe. I don't know. Uh, if you can think of a name, let me know. But before uh, I got back on him, we were talking about the favorite soda. That's what we were bantering on about last time. And I'm going to read some comments. Uh, let me get over here by the fire. Oh, wait, you know what? Let me, uh, I got some fish before I read the comments. No, wait. If I'm reading the comments, cooking fish, I'll burn the fish. So let me uh, read the comments first. I'll tell you what, I like to sit on the boat. I remember doing that last time. I like sitting on the boat. Where's my uh, poses? Let's sit. Yeah. We'll sit on the boat, watch the fire. Look at that beautiful scenery. Well, I wish I was there in real life. Speaking of summertime and vacation, I want to go somewhere like this. All right, so we were talking about a favorite soda last time, and we were talking about uh, what did you call it? Did you call it pop, soda, Coke? So, and which ones were your favorites? So in the comments, let's see here. Bill in WA2250 said, uh, when you lived in Dayton, Ohio, Dr. Pepper was advertised as both a hot and cold drink. That is interesting. I have had um, Dr. Pepper hot before, and it's pretty good. You also said you like all the Fanta fruit flavored drinks and AEW root beer, but given the choice, you would take sweet tea, which is really good. Okay, Nastro Gaiman said top five in any order probably would be Dr. Pepper, Big Red, Cream Soda, Pepsi, and root beer. A Quiet Monk, you says in the part of the UK where you live, typically you called it pop or a fizzy pop, and they say uh, tin rather than a can. Uh, so it's called a tin pop. All right. You remember Coca-Cola introduced the cherry Coke to the UK. You also like uh, Fanta Orange Tango. Yeah. Cherry Pepsi. Max Cherry Coke Dr. Pepper. I don't know if I've ever had a cherry Pepsi. That would be interesting. All right. Um, okay. So at uh, Pug I.O., B4612, you said um, everything was Coke. Doesn't matter what kind of Coke. It was a Sprite Coke, a Coke Coke, or Orange Coke. You think uh, it was a Southern thing, but uh, Pop, you never really heard it called Pop, or you heard from people, uh, specifically from the North. Yeah, I would say North people call it more Pop. All right, what else? Do we have any more? At Ben Brown Coach said my top five would be uh, Coke, number five, Fanta Fruit, Twist, Dandelion, and Burlock. What is that? Dandelion and Burdock. Uh, and number one would be Pepsi Cherry and Dr. Pepper. That is nice. All right. So there's where uh, the sodas, that your favorite sodas. Let's see. Let's stand up here. I'm going to cook my fish. I caught some fish. Let's put the fish in the pot, and we'll talk about what we're going to do today. Talk about today. I was looking. Uh, I was watching The Walking Dead the other day, uh, and I was. it made me think about um, the different spinoffs that they had, and I started thinking about which ones do I like, which ones do I dislike, so I'm going to rank my top, or I'm going to rank the Walking Dead spinoffs, not the original Walking Dead, but the spinoffs after the Walking Dead. I'm going to rank those, uh, the ones I like, from least to the best, the one I like the best. All right, uh, so the one that I uh, liked the least was Tales from the Walking Dead. Now, it's not, when I say least, I mean, it was okay. Those were the uh, one one episode spinoffs where each episode was something different. It didn't follow a story. There was a couple of them uh, that were pretty good. Oh, no, I burned myself. All right, where, where my fish? Oh, my fish is done. Let me get out of there before it burns. 
All right, fish is done. I guess uh, what I'm going to need to do is go get some wood while we um, talk about The Walking Dead. So Tales from the Walking Dead was not uh, that great. I think there was an episode where the lady was in a, uh, after the world, you know, fell apart and she was in a shelter. That was pretty weird and cool. All right, the one after that, The Walking Dead, The World Beyond. Now that's with all the little kids and stuff. I was not really big into that one. I, d I did watch all of these because I love, uh, you know, post-apocalypse shows, so I'm going to watch them. Um, you know what? I've got, do I have my saw yet? I got to go back and see if I have a saw. Yeah. Do I have a saw to make? I got firewood. I don't want firewood. I want... I need planks. Can I make planks out of that? We'll save some firewood. I'm going to go look and see if I stashed a saw in this shed. Okay. Because I did stash some stuff in here. Let's see. Did I do a saw? There's my building kit. A shovel. Well, I'm going to have to go get a... No, wait. What is that? Will that work? Hmm. I don't know. With the hacksaw saw, like a regular saw saw? How many times can I say saw? We'll find out. Let's go see. Will the hacksaw saw... Where did I cut the tree down? I need to go look in that deer stand, too. Why am I lost where I cut the tree down at? Hey, there's some rocks over there. Well, I don't remember where I cut the tree down. So let's cut another tree down. Days never finish. Alright, chopping some tree down. Talking about the Walking Dead. There. I, the tree I cut last time was not big enough. That's what it was. We need some of these big giant poles that we got to carry back. Okay. After the world beyond, it was uh, The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon. Now, that's where he goes over to France. And I really have not gotten into that one. I like the character, Daryl. But I have not really gotten into him being over in France. It seems weird. It seems a lot like uh, if you watch um, The Last of Us, where it came out on HBO. Is that what it was called? Yeah. And, um, you know, the guy is kind of protecting the young girl. That's kind of what the Daryl Dixon show is about. He's kind of protecting the young boy. And um, gives me very much similar vibes to that. All right, let's get another giant wooden log. Carry it back, because we're going to need quite a few of these when we start building. All right, after that, I would say The Walking Dead, Dead City. That's where Negan and Maggie go to New York. And I think they're about to come out with season two, right? They, they did season one. And I'm going to be honest, I haven't really gotten big into that one. I watched it. Most of the time, though, when I was watching it, it was really kind of like I was doing other stuff and it was on in the background. Now, I want to see if that saw will cut cut these. Let's see. Craft wooden plank. Will it work? Let's see if it's going to work. It did. So the hacksaw does work. That's perfect, because I'm going to need lots of wooden planks. All right. But I'm going to need more logs, too. So, yeah, the Dead City uh, had some interesting concepts to it, but definitely was not my favorite. All right. There. 
Give me more. There you go. Good axe. You can do so much with a good axe. All right. Let's see. What's next? All right. There's actually only two, two more left. So my second favorite one would be Fear of the Walking Dead. Now, this is the one that spun off, the very first one that spun off from The Walking Dead, and it took the Morgan character. Uh, I think the actor's name is Lenny something. I forgot his last name. But it took the Morgan character to Fear the Walking Dead. Uh, and I watched that one because it, it, it started out, if you haven't seen it, it was showing uh, what the or how the apocalypse happened, like when everything was still normal, which is very interesting to me to see the fall, how things fall. So uh, it started out with that, and then it kind of followed... Uh, you know what? I don't. It, matter of fact, uh, the Morgan character wasn't there right away. He joined later. So the first season, maybe first two seasons, I can't even remember now. I'd have to go back and look. But he joined later, uh, and um, you know, definitely made it good because he, he's a good actor and his character was very good. So that would be my uh, second favorite spinoff. Now it did started getting bad. The further it went on, it really had some plot holes and some things that really just didn't make sense. Um, but overall, it was still pretty good. Look, you can see the moon up there. There's my flag. That's my La Livonia flag. All right, let's see. If I put this down, do I have... I have... A thing to make a wall yet? Let's see. Starter kit. What do I have here? I have a flagpole that I made a flagpole. Can I take that apart and make a wall kit with it? Let's see. Let's take the rope out of it. If I take that and combine it, what do I have the choice to make? A fence kit. Yeah. Let's see if we can make a fence kit. And we have, even have a stick left over. How about that? Okay, let's try to build it real close here to the shelter. Get it, get that right side just right there. All right. Oh, stand up. Let's grab our big giant log. Let's come over here. All right, there's one log. Two logs. All right, so what are we going to need? Uh, we got to build the base. What is it, the shovel? Yep, we're going to build the base of it. And then I'll tell you the number one spin-off, which you probably already figured out if you've watched The Walking Dead. All right. We've got to get 20 planks and we got to get some nails. I think I've already collected nails when I was coming back here, didn't I? If not, I'm going to have to go. Yeah, I'm going to have to go get some nails. Okay. So we've got this going. we got some planks going. I'm going to tell you my number one is oh wait i lost my place my number one is going to be the walking dead the ones who live and that's the one that uh just came out with rick and michonne and just having rick back into the series because he's been gone for so long that really uh you know was just good to see him back into it so that was really my number one walking dead spinoff put my shovel my shovel won't go in here will it well that's no good All right, I'm going to put my supplies up, and then I'm going to continue uh, building some planks. Got to find some nails. So we'll just leave that there, and we'll get back on the next time, and we'll get back to working. We're just going to sit here right now. Hey, can I sit and eat fish at the same time? Let's see. Nope. It makes me get up. All right. So I'm going to eat some fish. 
leave in the comments below if you have watched the different spin-offs of uh, The Walking Dead, how would you rank yours? Are there any, any way close to the way I ranked mine? Uh, just let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and get notified.